welcome to my fall night routine so as you can see it's literally still daylight outside but the sun will be going down in like 20 minutes but it's been a week since i washed my bedding so i'm gonna go ahead and wash it so it's nice and ready for when i go to sleep tonight it's october 1st and i feel like that is when fall truthfully starts like that's when fall starts to feel like fall but my bedding usually takes a while to wash, like I wash it on the bulkiest setting. It also takes quite a while to dry, so that's why I get it started early on in the day, around like 5 or 6, like right before the sun sets, so that I can have enough time to let it dry before it's bedtime. Now it's time to get some dinner started. I found this recipe literally on TikTok after searching high protein meals. It looked really good and really easy to make and I love eating potatoes in the colder months. It's not cold in LA yet even, it's still like, in, we're in a heat wave right now but nonetheless I'm in the fall spirit so I'm gonna have some potatoes and chicken. This recipe is literally so easy to make. You just like boil potatoes for a little bit and then you season them. Put them in the oven for a little bit and then add your chicken on top with like some cheese. I do wash my chicken usually with vinegar but I had some lemon juice so I'm just going to use my lemon juice. And I'm just following this recipe to the tea. The guy dices his chicken breasts up so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've been seeking out new recipes lately because I've been so bored of the same old meals that I make. I've had like the same four dishes in rotation for like a while now and I'm ready to branch out and try new recipes, especially high protein ones. Also, I feel so bad for my little air fryer back there. When I first got an air fryer, I was making absolutely everything in that thing. And then from one day to the next, I just stopped using it completely. I only use it every now and then to like air fry like fries or something like that or to like reheat food. But I want to start using that again too. I also added onions to my chicken and then I just started sauteing it, getting it nice and golden. Then I added it to my potatoes with some cheese on top and parsley and I put it in the oven just so that the cheese could melt really and then here it was this was so easy to make and it was so filling and so good also i'm literally addicted to poppies and olipop like the probiotic sodas i'm a soda lover i want to be that type of 80 year old woman that just drinks coke and does not care how bad it is for her health but honestly olipops and poppies completely just take that craving away from me like they really do satisfy my soda need and addiction of course i went ahead and cleaned up my kitchen so that i can just go ahead and lay down and rest in peace I'm wiping everything down and then i have to show you this candle that steven actually picked out in marshall slash home goods it is the best fall smelling candle i think i've ever had usually i'm not the biggest fan of fall smells like they usually are just too overbearing for me but this smells so good it actually hits the nail on the head for fall scents without being too overbearing so i went ahead and lit that up because we're in the fall spirit and the candle overall is so cute it has such a nice weight to it as well overall it just matches my apartment's aesthetic as well perfectly my sheets like my covers are nice and dry and i'm so happy because they're so warm and my apartment's cold i have the ac blasting but if it was cold outside that would hit so much better but i'm not gonna complain i put the rest of my bedding to dry and then i remember i have this trader joe's flyer that is like seasonal I grabbed it when they were bagging my stuff and it has the cutest little things it has like recipes and then it had a crossword and I was like I'm gonna do that crossword right now I haven't done one in so long crossword puzzles and word searches were my thing as a kid I love when teachers would hand them out in school and this one actually was kind of hard and took forever but I eventually finished it but it was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be but a lot of the answers were like in the little reading itself 
And yeah, up top it says fa la 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 await, which is so funny and accurate because fall does like just turn into Christmas in like 2.5 seconds. But Steven wanted chips and dip and it's already a few hours after dinner. So I went and heated up some dip and I served it to him. The chips are literally this shape of leaves, which is so cute. And then of course I had to tune into my girl Georgina on Netflix. I love watching her life, her luxurious life. She is the wife of the famous soccer player Cristiano Ronaldo. And yeah, I just enjoy watching this show, chilling on my laptop. This is my non-guilty screen time. If I see I haven't been on my phone too much during the day, I will non-guilty just go and vibe out all electronics out. But I try not to make it too social media. If I do, I will usually just go on like Pinterest and like pin a bunch of things that I want. This is like one of my favorite ways to visualize things actually, just because Pinterest has such a nice aesthetic of things. And then closer to wind down time, I'll just go on my phone and do whatever there is to do on my phone. Look at whatever I want to look at, online shop, social media, etc. It's bath time now, so I'm going to go ahead and put some cinnamon and sweet orange together. Usually I do sweet orange and bergamot, but I did cinnamon and I did not like the way this smells together, so I wouldn't recommend actually. It smelled so good at first and then it just turned into a weird smell that I can't describe. I'll have to see what else will smell really good with cinnamon, but it's shower time and I'm going to use nothing but moisturizing products because it's already dry out here and fall just makes my skin even drier. Literally in love with this body oil as of late and this lotion is all the tea. I hate when things are heavily marketed to me and I just can't escape it and that was me with this lotion but it deserves every ounce of marketing it has. Actually it doesn't have enough like giving them all the praise because it keeps my skin so moisturized and it smells so good. It's the perfect texture literally. But chamomile is that girl, that girl tea if you want to go to sleep and like prep your body to just go to bed. Chamomile is the sleepy tea and that's what I use to wind down. I let it steep for a little bit, usually until the water is just like nice and darker in color. And while that does that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my face mask on. This is one of those like, I don't know how you describe the texture. It feels like jelly somewhat and it just sticks to the skin and it's nice and super moisturizing. A literal lifesaver if you live in a dry climate is to have a face mask that feels like this. This is hyaluronic acid and I love hyaluronic acid. I do look absolutely goofy wearing this. Like I don't even look like myself. My face does not look like my face. But that's okay because my face is going to be glowing afterwards. Also, I didn't add any honey or any sugar to this tea. I used to, but now I just drink it plain because really what I like about it is the fact that it's nice and warm. I don't really drink it for flavor purposes. I just want my body to know that it's time to wind down and go to bed. I'm reading the biography of Steve Jobs currently on my iPad and it's actually very entertaining and intriguing to me. I majored in computer science in college so hearing about how they started a whole basically like a tech company with these cool inventions and Apple products is just so intriguing to me. It scratches the nerd itch in my brain. I'm not gonna eat anything else for the rest of the day. It is almost time to go to bed. So of course, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth. My fave ever toothbrush. I love using an electric toothbrush. Of course, also, you have to mouthwash. I love this mouthwash. It doesn't have a crazy burning sensation like, like Listerine does, and it honestly keeps your breath fresh for a very long time. I don't floss in the morning because I don't feel like it's necessary, but at night, after a day of eating, I'll definitely floss. 
I always think of one of my favorite movies, Pretty Woman, where Julia Roberts' character is like, you can't neglect your gums. That's what I think of every single time I go to floss. And then I go ahead and finish off my skincare after I have taken off my mask, some hyaluronic acid, of course you know it. And I put this all over my under eyes, my neck, my forehead, just everywhere, nice and deep, and all the lines. And then I slug. I apply a nice thick heavy cream on my face afterwards just basically slugging and then don't forget my neck your neck is like your second face I could bathe in Vaseline I'm not even kidding I put it all over and I usually wake up with my skin glowing And that's all. That was my night routine. I'm ready for bed. Good night.